Welcome to the story of Latavius Knight, high school legend in the city of Carrollton and might as well be in the state of Texas. But as you'll soon realize, it's not all D1 contracts. Failure doesn't define you. It's what you do after you fail that determines whether you are a leader or a waste of perfectly good air. But let's chill on the negativity. Latavius grew up in Carrollton, Texas, with his mother Deborah and older sister Tamika. Both Tamika and Latavius were interested in sports from a young age and both were pretty good. Well, I'm being courteous. Latavius was great at pretty much everything he competed in, even turning down to be on the wrestling team to focus more on football, basketball, and track. Deborah worked two jobs to put the pieces together, but of course, she did it for them. The missing key in all this is the family's father who went MIA after Deborah first became pregnant with Tamika. And to this day, the kids still do not know anything about him. One thing he did leave though was some amazing genetics. In middle school, Latavius stood just 5 foot 9 and a buck 50. But fast forward to his senior season, whilst carrying the Hebron Hawks to a state championship, he's sitting at 6 foot 2, 220 pounds. And dude was fast! Not like crazy elusive, but let's just say he was as comfortable with the Duke as he was with the stiff arm. However, the ongoing issue with Latavius was his mental state. He was such a force on the field because of his anger and pain he had on a deeper level, and when he unleashed that, it was a 250 yard game every other week. He was witty, but not fully comfortable with himself. Confident, but only when the pieces fell in his favor. The potential to be a leader, but shies away from the role when his team needs that the most. And he's quite possibly the biggest mama's boy you've ever met. His mother, like it should be, was his guardian angel. But in terms of his football career, she was the glue that kept him stable. In terms of offers, take your pick. Texas, Bama, Clemson, Michigan to list a few. And whilst his mother wishes the best for his football career, she told him to always follow his heart. Which is why he's strongly considering staying close to home and reaching out to the mean green in North Texas. But before all of that, before the decision, we have to play the state championship. G'day, g'day, fellas. How are we all doing today? For those of you who have been spam messaging me about Deontay Rose, meet your replacement. We are in the state championship game against Lamarck. I don't really know who that is. I did add the real conference rivals to the Hebron Hawks, like the Creekview Mustangs, Newman Smith Trojans, etc. Unfortunately, we don't get to verse them today, but that's not the important thing. The important thing is the storyline. As you can see, we have accumulated offers from pretty much all of the biggest schools in the country. The best part about this, however, is it's up to you guys. Personally, I wouldn't mind seeing Latavius in a West Virginia uniform. LSU wouldn't be a bad choice either. I'd even consider a school like Arizona or Tulsa, even Texas Tech. The important thing to note is I will be doing storylines for a lot of this and we will be going to the NFL as well. Just for clarification and please listen to me carefully. We're not going to be doing a whole lot of the college saga. There might be three to four games max of college gameplay over the next four episodes before we enter ourselves into the draft. Oh, and don't worry, I got you guys. You want to do the combine as well? I got it right here, buddy. Latavius Knight will be going to the combine. But for now, the only thing I need you guys to do is let me know what team Latavius should go for. The storyline will change heavily depending on what team he decides to go to. Important thing to note, these are updated rosters as well, so all the real players are there. And so I can weed out the fanboys of, say, Clemson. Give me a reason why Latavius should go to any one of these schools. And the one that I like the most is the one I'm going to go with. Enough mucking around, fellas. Latavius Knight has led his Hebron Hawks to the state championship. If you are new around here and you enjoy Madden and NCAA content, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to sub. And also, because it's at one, don't forget to leave a like. Let me know if you want to see more Latavius Knight RTG Madden 20 career mode. Offers or not, it is always better to go into college being a state champion and being the reason why you got there. Without further ado, fellas, let's jump into it. Boo, they gave us the away jerseys. Boo, we want the home jerseys. They look so much better. Rocking on Heisman difficulty as well. Oh, I fumbled the punt! Not a good way to start the game. First play we get out of the Wildcat formation. It's kind of nice. This play goes for a lot of yards. 
Go, big time blocks. Come on, 34. The only problem is Latavius is a balance back. He's not a speed freak, so you can't really just blow by everybody on the team. That's a big time first down. Our opponents know the game plan. They know Latavius gets fed 99% of the time another first. Crazy how our stamina bar is already so low. Like, it's been four plays and you muffed the first one. <laughs> Come on, big, big boy plays. Yeah, that stamina is going to be a problem. Coach, I love your enthusiasm, but it's third and six. We should be passing the ball, not rushing it. Especially on a delayed handoff. What do you want me to do, coach? So our first drive ends in nothing. Lamarck driving down the field, fourth and nine. This game's a wrap already, you can tell. Six rushes, 33 yards. I'm liking the right side of the field. Get that block. Come on. Get some block. Or don't snap it. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you, bro. In the backfield, Latavius goes nowhere. Flip it, come on. Flip, flip, flip. Oh, that's a big block. That's a big boy block the juke. Stay up. Latavius breaks another one. Oh, man. There was so much potential to take that to the house. Like, absolutely dusted the regular season. This Lamarck team is no joke, though. First time we've been scoreless. Yep, they one-on-one -on -one tackles, man. We can't break them. We got to come up with a big play. Maybe the stiff arm is the way to go. I don't know, man. Come on. I'm trying to stiff arm. That's a big boy first down. Am I the only one getting flashes of Derrick Henry right now? You got to be thinking this is it right here. First and goal on the three-yard line. We block this dude out here. It's over. That's all we need to do. We get the block. Yes. Latavius in the end zone, finally. Now because there's two minutes left, coach is gonna decide to pass it. You best believe I'm gonna try and make a play. There we go. Nice little first down, showing the hands as well. Latavius might not be the best receiver, but don't underestimate Blue. He can catch, man, as long as it's not deep or he's covered or anything. Right through the seam, another big play. When we get to college, I'll be running the real routes, but this is high school, bro. Nobody cares about running routes in high school. Oh, let's go! Oh, I tried to hit him with the juke. That would have been too clean. Not a big fan of that 4.6 average, but if we get a receiving touchdown here, this would be huge. But it looks like, man, I'm wide open! I'm wide open in the corner, Latavius. They didn't pick me up. I'm the one guy on the team you got to worry about. And there's no man coverage on me. We're going deep. Just like everybody else. Oh, they're going for it. Picked off. What are you doing, Steve Merker? It's almost like I'm playing quarterback as well. Because that's a throw I would make. Nice pancake. There we go. Breaks one. Breaks two. Oh, the little guy got me. They got us on a wheel. I used to like when you could move yourself out. But I don't know if you can do that in high school. Look at me, I'm going deep! There's no way I would have been covered there. It could always be worse. But I just feel like we should be breaking more tackles out here. There we go, look at this! I knew it, this counterplay is a guaranteed touchdown. Latavius second rushing on the day, one receiving. The scouts are drooling right now. They can't wait to get Latavius. I wonder what our stats are gonna be. I haven't hurdled a lot. That's one thing I should start doing is... No, that, that wasn't a good spot to hurdle. But if I see the opportunity, you know, we have somebody closely chasing or one-on-one -on -one defender, I'm gonna try and jump over somebody. Like this. Oh, I gotta do it a bit earlier. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That might have been the coolest play I've ever seen. It's a play action pass. We just keep running down the field. It's pretty much, yeah. If we can get in the end zone and every yard is by us, that's 200. There we go. Pick up that block, 33. Oh, I try the hurdle. Imagine if that worked though. No more hurdles, all right? We're not trying to get injured before our college decision. The point is to get scholarships, not lose them. 
terrible blitz. And we're going to waltz in the end zone off a broken tackle. That's four touchdowns on the day. Come on, show us something. Fourth and one. They're going to go for it. Wait, am I not on the field? Oh, okay. We got the turnover. They're just trying to rest us. Holy crap. Is that our coach? Damn, he's thick though. Just shy of 300 yards. I didn't know we had 89 receiving yards. That's kind of crazy. The only thing I'd change about this dynasty is having some crappier teams on the list available to us. It's time for signing day. Where will Latavius Knight commit? Just again, in case you didn't get a good look at it, we pretty much have the best Division I programs there is. We have some nice four-star teams like North Carolina, Louisville, Washington State. Utah wouldn't be a bad choice. I mean, will we see LK join the ACC conference with the most dominant team? In fact, with the help of LK, they'll go to the national championship as much as they want. Will we decide to stay close to home? After all, he is a big mama's boy and Austin is not a far drive at all. Will we follow the shoes of players like Derrick Henry? Scouts think that LK is the perfect example of an Alabama running back. We could go to a team known for its amazing blocking and head to Madison. Or we could even decide to take it a step back, commit to a team that probably won't make a national championship, but create a legacy and dominate a CUSA conference that has never seen anything like us before. Decisions, decisions, fellas. Lucky I don't have to make it. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section below if you made it this far into the video. You are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace.